Okay, so we're going to download the Roland JDXI update and you can see here it's downloading and when it's downloaded uh, we can unzip it I'm going to extract it to my desktop now we can see the folder here. Now first of all we need to check the version of the JDXI, the one we already have. Now mine is at 1.10 but to do that we will just check anyway. So we press the menu button and we scroll to the right until you get to version info, as you can see here, and then press enter. Okay, my version is 1.10. Yours is probably two, unless you've just bought it and it's got a previous version. But that's the first thing we do, is check our version. Now we need to do this while it's powered off, because what we need to do now is put the JDXI into a mode that can accept the update. So to do that we make sure that the USB cable is connected and the JDXI is turned off. Don't put your don't connect via a hub, connect directly to your PC or Mac. I'm going to now hold down tap and turn on the JDXI. When we do that the JDXI will go into this mode and you will notice on your PC that you'll now have the JDXI folder here. Now we need a certain file which is in this folder and that's the JDXI underscore up dot bin and in this folder there is the file. So what I'm going to do now is copy the bin file over into the JDXI. And you can see now on the screen, copy to JDXI. We can see now that that's taken place. Now what we must do is unmount the JDXI. We don't do that just by turning it off. Now, in the lower right hand screen, I'm in Windows 10, um, you'll see the arrow that points up. It'll be next to your network connection. And in there is the safely remove hardware and eject media bu button. I've clicked it and now it's showing me the JDXI and it says eject. So I've clicked eject and it says safe to remove hardware. And you can see now, as soon as I did that, the JDXI is updating. We must not interrupt this process. So you must make sure that it's plugged in properly and that it can come unplugged and that the USB port doesn't that the USB cable doesn't get jogged or anything else. Then it will say finished. And then we turn off and power on again. And then we'll check the version info menu and I'm right clicking To version info, press enter, and the machine is now at version 1.50. This is how we safely update the JDXI.